big fan of quantizers and shift registers. I have a whole bunch of them in my Eurorack setup. So I'm really excited today to spend this some time with the Verbos and Associates Quantizer Shift Register Model 263V. This module came out, I think around 2012, to fill an interesting gap in the Buchla ecosystem. There, there aren't a lot of outboard quantizer modules. In 2012, I don't think there were any, maybe, maybe one, I'm not super positive about the history, but um, when I was doing some research into what modules provide quantization in terms of taking an input from another module, the 263V is one of the ornament and crime that you can find in the Northern Light Modular 20C quantimator. There's a quantizer in the module module format. And then some modules provide quantization internal to the module. For example, the 260 c can output quantized voltages, random voltages, and the 251E quad sequential voltage source and the 252E polyphonic rhythm generator both output quantized voltages. You select the amount of voltage 1.1, 1.2, and so on. And then the 250E dual arbitrary or 250E arbitrary function generator can also output quantized voltages per step by turning quantized, quantized on and off. And then there's the 244, the Sputnik 244, which has a very, very basic quantizer um, along the bottom of it. So the 263V is unique in that it is a has um, eight quantized outputs and eight CV inputs. And you can choose the root with the left potentiometer and the scale or the mode with the right potentiometer. So in my system, I don't have a ton of need for an outboard quantizing module because my 251E, of course, outputs quantized voltages when I'm doing sequences. I don't need it so much when I'm doing sequences. But it does have a lot of interesting applications for quantizing um, sloped voltages. And that's the, the idea that I had based on something that Lionel Boucher did some, some years ago with the 263V is using a slew limiter in the control voltage processor 257E for me. I think he might have used the 255. Um, but to slew the voltage output from the 251E, send that into the quantizer and get the quantized voltages out, which make for some interesting characteristics. The shift register in the bottom of the 263V is there are two shift registers side by side, each with four outputs, a CV input, a pulse input, and a pulse output. And I'll get into the shift register a little bit later. First, I'm going to focus on the quantizer, and then I'll shift to the shift register. So I've programmed in a sequence in the 251E just to create a little bit of a melody that um, we can do some interesting things with in the quantizer. So first, let me let you hear what this sounds like um, outside without the quantization. And this is going into the studio.h dual programmable oscillator, both the left side and the right, the left oscillator and the right oscillator with no FM or anything else. They're just, just the, the pure sound, the pure waves. And the 258E, as this thing's known, is, uh, has really, really good pitch tracking on the CV inputs. So it's a great module to use to demonstrate um, the quantized voltage from the 251E and the quantized voltage from the 263V and the slight differences between them. So first, here's what the sequence sounds like. I um, had to turn on both oscillators there. So oscillator one going to the left channel and oscillator two is going to the right channel. So what I thought to do with that was to follow Lionel's lead and make that uh, slewed voltage. Let me let you hear what that sounds like now. And I'm going to put the 281E in sustain mode so that we can hear the um, what that slewed voltage sounds like. <laughs> so
So that, I mean, that's kind of interesting. Um, so what I want to do now is send that slewed control voltage from the 251E through the 257E into the quantizer. And that will, I'm going to choose the, I'll choose the Dorian mode since the um, oscillator is base pitch is set to E. And then the sequence that I created in 251E is in E minor, um, as best as it can be anyway. And so I'm going to quantize that to um, Dorian in the in the 263V. And so I will put that, turn these on, and here's what it sounds like, the slewed CV going through the quantizer. So I will just kind of mess with the settings on the 257, I'm increase the slope, positive here. So all I'm doing is changing the values of the negative and positive on the 257, 257E. Let me shift that over to minor pentatonic. We get fewer notes because there are only five in that scale. So if I go to chromatic, we'll get all 12 notes. Interesting. <laughs> so, going back to minor pentatonic, that sounds a bit more musical to me. So if I slow it down. Let's speed it up. Okay, so you can kind of see that um, it does a good job of quantization, made that sequence interesting going through the 257E. If I were using control voltages to modulate the slew amount, then you could get pretty nice um, kind of fluctuating or, or changing melody over time. Um, lots of interesting things to do there. The thinking about this thing having eight inputs and eight outputs, it would have a lot of use for things like the 245, 246, I think the 246, and some, some of the other modules in the 200 format as opposed to the 200E format. Not to say that it's not useful for 200E, but it definitely has more applicability to modules in the 200 format. Um, but it it's pretty powerful and really, really, really easy to use this quantizer. I, I actually like it quite a lot. Um, and the Eurorack quantizers I have, they're menu driven. And in the case of the Disting uh, Mark IV, I have to do some pressing of knobs and things, which I don't really mind because I've got some muscle memory around that. But I liked that I could just put this in my case and I knew pretty much instantly what to do. So I'm going to um, Try something interesting with the analog shift registers and the quantizer with the 258E. So now that I've got quantizing figured out, I'm going to play around a little bit with the shift register using that same sequence with the 258. So it only have two output stages from the analog shift register, but I think that's okay. That'll give a pretty good idea of, of what it sounds like, of how it works. And then I'll shift over to the 268E graphic waveform generator so we have all four outputs. 
So what I've done is I have the same sequence patched in to the CV. Now I have it in the CV input of the 263V shift register, the left shift register. I have shorting bars going from the output CV or the output of um, output one of the shift register to quantizer input one and from output three to quantizer input three. Then I have the oscillator one in the DPO going from output one and then the CV out for output three through the quantizer to oscillator two in the DPO. And I have it set in the root of E and I chose a minor pentatonic. So what you'll hear in the left and the right channel is the first voltage will come out in output one and go to oscillator one. And that is uh, one octave up from the bass tuning of the oscillator. So you'll hear the bass tune of the oscillator in oscillator two because it's not receiving any voltage. When I send another pulse in the second stage of the sequence, that will be 0.7 volts sent to output one. And nothing and that will be or 1.2 will come out at output two, but there's nothing going in, it's not going anywhere from output two. And then output three will play the bass pitch of oscillator two because the, it does, doesn't have voltage going there yet. Then on the third pulse, it will be 0.8 volts. Then the 0.7 will go to two, and then that 1.2 will go to three. So you'll hear that coming out of oscillator two. So it's kind of a, I hope that makes sense. I should probably write that down as, as I walk through it, but let me just play it for you and you'll, you'll hear what I mean. Let me turn it way down. Let me start it over. Okay, I'm starting it now. So that high, high note there sounds pretty clear. So when I speed it up, So you kind of have two melodies. It sounds like two melodies going at the same time in the two different channels, but it's the same melody. It's just shifting two over for the right channel. So it's kind of, kind of like it's out of phase. And when I turn on the delay just for channel or for the right channel, So now I'm going to do something, we'll try something out that earlier worked great, but when I tried it a little bit ago, it didn't work so well, but g give, me, <laughs> give me a chance here. I'm going to um, slow the sequence down and start it again. I'll put it in sustain mode. Okay, so I've got the 223E going in to the, um, I'm stacked it on the CV input. trying to transpose a little bit. Okay. Yep, let's see, zero volts. There it goes. So what you can, I hope you can hear is that as I transpose the voltage from the 251E with the 223E, it sort of, you hear it in the left channel and then it moves over to the right channel because it has shifted over to, to oscillator two. So I'll see if I can make that a little bit more dramatic by changing oscillator two's input to output four.
think it sounds better in three. Put it back in three. Here we go. Okay, cool. That that turned out a little bit better than I expected. Um, there's a, that little fuzz sound is caused by the it's like a the quantizer's trying to add the right amount of voltage to make the output voltage correct, so to speak, but the incoming voltage is unstable, and so it meaning it, it's changing slightly, and so the quantizer is is struggling to um, to nail to really dial in that voltage so it'll have a little bit more to the um, input and output than than you would expect and i'm dramatically understating how that works but um, i've discovered that happens a lot with the 251e which outputs quantized voltages send that into a quantizer if i vary the voltages a little bit then the quantizer um, can sometimes output that scratchiness now the verbalist quantizer does a really good job of, uh, I think the like the resolution of the quantizer uh, circuits are is really good because the Sputnik 244 quantizer by comparison would make all kinds of noise if you put a voltage, um, if you sent a voltage that was already quantized into it. So uh, now I'm going to patch up the 268E graphic waveform generator, which has four oscillators and four outputs. And I'm going to attempt to make an interesting patch with that and, uh, and using four outputs of the analog shift register. Okay, so I have a patch set up with the 268E graphic waveform generator, which we talked about, I think in last month's episode. Um, fantastic module, four oscillators, each with its own independent pitch input. It shares, all four oscillators share a bass pitch, which I have tuned to E. And so I'm gonna do two different sequences and, and change your things up a little bit as I go through uh, showing the shift register with this module because it just is, um, with four oscillators, it can do a few more interesting things with the shift register. So I've got the 263V patch with jumpers going from the shift register to the uh, quantizer input. And then the quantizer outputs going to the 268E. And I have the mode set to um, Dorian and the root is set to E. So uh, what I wanna do is bring in, I'm gonna bring in one oscillator at a time, starting with number one, with a sequence that is very, very short and um, with, with long sustained notes, just so you can kind of hear those uh, those notes coming in. and. The, um, so yeah, the, you'll hear in the left channel, and then the right channel, and the left channel, and the right channel. In the third pulse, you'll hear a sum of the first two volts, the first two uh, voltages. So it's kind of an interesting kind of thing. Hope you've got headphones on. So I'll bring in the next voltage here. For the next uh, oscillator, I should say. And now I'll bring in four. So you can hear the kind of a harmony there when the uh, notes are the intervals between them is good, you know, like a first, a third, and a fifth. So if I take out, so now I just have oscillators one and four. Now I'm gonna press start, stop a bunch of times on the 251E, and you'll kind of hear the notes dropping off. Did you hear that? So that's kind of neat, kind of a good indicator of how the voltages flow through the outputs. So now I have just oscillator one and four going to L and R. So let's see what that sounds like. A little bit of a drone. Go 
Voll cool. Okay. So I'm going to shift the to um, there we go section D of my 251E for a more melodic sequence, and I'll go ahead and bring up bring in all four oscillators. Shift that back to 281E, back to the transient mode, and see what this sounds like. I'm going to put the Just simple waveform. Slow that down. Okay, I'm gonna shift back to where each oscillator has its own waveform drawn by the 282E. Okay. There we go. So it's kind of like a it sounds like a little bit of a delay because you're hearing the melody played on forward oscillators in sequence, basically. So I'm going to go to stage three. Make that play three times. Cool. Oh. All right, so the last thing I want to do with the shift register is, so we've been done everything with pitch and that's really neat, but um, we can use the control voltage outputs from the shift register to also modulate something. So I'm gonna take the output of oscillator three and send that into control voltage, I mean, I'm sorry, into the 267E. And I'm going to do the same for oscillator two. I'll send that to the other filter in the 267E. Patch that back in there. And so I'll take the control voltage outputs from uh, the control voltage output from the shift register. Let's see if this will. will probably give me an input. Let me just remove the jumpers. I'd want to eliminate any possibilities of errant voltages. So it's removing the jumpers here. There we go. And shifting the control voltage outputs just to the analog shift resistor here. Okay, perfect. Now I'll take the control voltage output from number two to the um, frequency input on one shift register, I mean on one uh, filter. Boy, I've said shift register a lot today. It's, try, try, <laughs> it's starting to get quite, uh, quite overwhelming how many times I've said that. All right, so now I have that, that patched up. Two oscillators going through the 267E with the frequency modulated by the uh, outputs two and four from the analog shift register. Give it a little bit more harmonics. Let's just take out the, the I took out the non-filtered ones. Just to dial those in just slightly. There we go. I'll slow that down. You know, I think I'm going to switch the sequence to the one that I used with the 258. It won't sound as good because 
um, it doesn't have the, I'm going to quantization, but so the 260AE is going to, it's going to be kind of, the notes are going to be quite there, but I'm doing that because it has sustained notes. So let's see what that sounds like. Turn the, oh, the oscillators back on. So what should, what happens is the voltage output from two is modulating the frequency for the filter. And then the next time that uh, note is sent, to, when it's sent to three, that is not modulating the filter. So the filter is going to keep whatever that voltage value was. Kind of hard to get that dialed in. Yeah, that's better. Got things dialed in. All right, now do we want to be adventurous and bring in oscillator one from the 258? All right, let's give that a try and then we'll close this out. All right, so what I'm going to do is okay, let me first explain the two shift registers have pulse in and pulse out. So the pulse in the pulse out fires after the shift has occurred. I, I believe that's correct. So you can use a jumper bar, or a shorting bar, to connect the pulse out from shift register two to the pulse in to shift register one. And if you do that, then the, the shift register is sort of, or the shifting is opposite. And that's confusing to me. What I'm going to do is take the pulse out, uh, the pulse out from the 251E into the pulse end of shift register on the left, and then I'm going to take that pulse output and patch it over to the pulse input on shift register two, which is on the right, and then I'm going to take the CV of step four of output four and make that the input. CV for the right shift register. So if I bring in the 258E, it sounds like, okay. And now play that. Trying to make that sound more interesting, but. So what's going on is the sequence is moving through outputs one through four, going to the 268E, skips output five, 
and then goes output six is quantized out to the 258E. And then output seven is it's skipped, and then output eight is output uh, quantized output to the 258E. So I did say it was going to be a little dissident and cacophonous, and it kind of is. And so there you have it. That's the the 263V. Um, lots of lots of fun. I could really see myself diving much, much deeper into the shift register in the future.